So in the previous tutorial, we made a water simulation. I'm going to be making a very quick water material today. Um, so let's get started really quickly. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. I'm going to split my window into two by dragging this triangle and moving that into the center and dragging that away, dragging that away because we don't need it. Open up the uh, node editor right... Am I missing it? I'm totally... Okay, wow, I was totally looking over that. Um, so we're going to drag that away as well because we don't need that with our material, whatever water source you're using. Um, I'm going to change this to the rendered mode and select our camera and select border. So now we only have that part being rendered. I've chosen a nice still frame for us to be using for this. Um, so I'm going to click use nodes and make sure our material is doing what it's supposed to be doing in the material tab right there. So I'm going to first of all delete the diffuse uh, material because we don't need that. I'm going to open up and I'm going to hit add shader. And I'm going to drag in a refraction shader. I'm going to pop, plop that down right there. We're going to hit add shader, mix shader. So we're going to mix a refraction shader into the top. I'm going to hook that up into the surface. So now we have this really weird looking thing. And I'm going to hit add shader. And we're going to add in a glossy shader. And we're going to hook that up into the bottom of this mix of this mix shader. So now we have a more watery kind of looking material, but we need to do some stuff to it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to change the IOR of the refraction uh, node to 133 because that is the IOR of water or very close to it. Um, I'm going to change the roughness to 0 0.05. I'm going to change the roughness of the glossy shader to 0. And now we have our water shader. That's pretty much it. Um, I see a lot of people making water blue, and water is not blue, actually. Uh, there's In tropical regions, water is kind of like a tealish color, maybe like a lightish green-blue type thing. Maybe there's some. There is some that's blue. But generally, water usually isn't blue, <laughs> unless you're making a cartoon or something like that. But if it's realistic water, water usually is not blue. It does have a little bit of bluish tinge. So in the refraction shader, I'm going to change this to have a very, very slight bluish color. And I'm going to go more for a tropical type um, like lightish teal green kind of thing going on because I like the way it looks. Um, so that is our water shader right there. If I spin around this bad boy, you should be able to see that we have some really nice um, water-like aspects to it. If I scrub around our timeline here, you should be able to see that we have some really cool looking water stills here. Um, and it's a really simple water shader. It's nothing nothing too complex. That's what's great about it. It's just a really simple water shader, nothing too advanced. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways. I've seen so many different ways to do water. Um, this is just a very, very simple, very quick, easy one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure you learn, let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye.